Kora or Korach Hebrew, Kiora standard Kiora Tiberian Kiora, baldness, ice, hail, frost. Arabic, Karn Karn is a name which is associated with at least two men in the Hebrew Bible. Some older English translations, as well as the douay Rheims Bible, spell the name Kor, and many Eastern European translations have Korach. Korah, son of Esau According to the book of Genesis chapter 36 verse 5, Korah was the son of Esau and Ahalabama, and had two brothers, Jush and Jalam. Genesis chapter 36 verse 14 has Korah's mother, Ahalabama, being daughter of Anna, and granddaughter of Zibion, making Zibion Korah's maternal great-grandfather. The same verse repeats Genesis chapter 36 verse 5 and names his two brothers again. Anna in Genesis chapter 36 verses 2, 14, 18, 25 mentioned above is the same as the Anna, the son of Zibion in verse 24. In verse 2 and 14 it says, Ahalabama the daughter of Anna, the daughter of Zibion the Hivite. Some are confused with this wording and believe that it is saying that Anna is a daughter of Zibion. In verse 24 it clearly says that Zibion's two sons were Aja and Anna. Since the original text does not have a literal word for granddaughter the word bath was used in both cases but this sentence is stating that ahalabama is the daughter of anna and the granddaughter of zibion not that anna is the daughter of zibion esau had multiple wives and korah is also listed as a grandson of esau through eliphaz causing some confusion esau and his wife ada bore eliphaz Genesis chapter 36 verse 16 states that Eliphaz bore a number of sons called here, dukes that came from his son Eliphaz, and one of them is Duke Korah. It is not unreasonable that Esau had a son and a grandson named Korah. However it is more accurately viewed rather as a grandson being one of the sons. Exodus chapter 6 verse 24, and the sons of Korah, Asazer, and Elkanah, and Abiasaph, these are the families of the Korahites. Korah, son of Izar, leader of a rebellion against Moses Genealogy Exodus 6 verse 21 cites another Korah as being the son of Izar son of Kohath son of Levi. Korah's brothers through Izar were Nepheg and Zikri. Exodus 6 verse 18 connects this Korah with Hebron, Uziel and Amram, who were his father's brothers Izar son of Kohath, 1 Chronicles 6 verses 2, 18, 38, and 23 12, repeat this genealogy, however, this reference could have been inspired by the Exodus genealogies. Hebron is the patriarch from whom the region is named. Numbers 16 verse 1 traces this lineage back further to Levi, son of the patriarch Israel. According to Numbers chapter 16 verse 21, his lineage goes, "...Korah, the son of Izar, the son of Kohath, the son of Levi," making him the great-grandson of the patriarch Levi and the cousin of Moses and Aaron. <inaudible> Rebellion Numbers chapter 16 verses 1 to 40 indicates that Korah rebelled against Moses along with 249 co-conspirators and were punished for their rebellion when God sent fire from heaven to consume all 250 of them. Korah's Reubenite accomplices, Dathan and Abiram, were also punished when God caused the ground to split open beneath their feet swallowing them, their families, anyone associated with Korah, and all their possessions. Furthermore, the Israelites who did not like what had happened to Korah, Dathan, and Abiram and their families objected to Moses, and God then commanded Moses to depart from the multitude. God then smote 14,700 men with plague, as punishment for objecting to Korah's destruction Numbers 16 verse 41 ff. Notwithstanding, the children of Korah died not, as of Numbers 26 verse 11. In rabbinical literature Based on the Jewish encyclopedia the name, Korah, is explained by the rabbis of the Talmudic era as meaning, baldness. It was given to Korah on account of the gap or blank which he made in Israel by his revolt San, 109b. Korah is represented as the possessor of extraordinary wealth, he having discovered one of the treasures which Joseph had hidden in Egypt. 
The keys of Korah's treasuries alone formed a load for 300 mules pays, 119a, San, 110a. He and Haman were the two richest men in the world, and both perished on account of their rapacity, and because their riches were not the gift of heaven num. R. X. X. I. I. 7. Comp. X. R. Lee. 1. On the other hand, Korah is represented as a wise man, chief of his family and as one of the Kohathites who carried the Ark of the Covenant on their shoulders Tan, ed. Buber, Korah, Supplement, 5, Num. R. X. V. I. 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 2. Cause of revolt The chief cause of Korah's revolt was, according to the rabbis, the nomination of Elizaphan, son of Uziel, as prince over the Kohathites Num. E. 30, Korah arguing thus, "...Kohath had four sons X. V. 18. The two sons of Amram, Kohath's eldest son, took for themselves the kingdom and the priesthood." Now, as I am the son of Kohath's second son, I ought to be made prince over the Kohathites, whereas Moses gave that office to Elizaphan, the son of Kohath's youngest son." Num. R. X. V. I. 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 1. Tan. Korah. 3. Korah applied Moses with the following questions. Does a tallit made entirely of blue wool need fringes? To Moses's affirmative answer Korah objected. The blue color of the tallit does not make it ritually correct, yet according to thy statement four blue threads do so." Num. X. V. 38. Does a house filled with the books of the law need a mezuzah? Moses replied that it did, whereupon Korah said, "...the presence of the whole Torah, which contains 175 chapters, does not make a house fit for habitation, yet thou sayest that one chapter thereof does so." It is not from God that thou hast received these commandments, thou hast invented them thyself." He then assembled two hundred fifty men, chiefs of the Sanhedrin, and, having clad them in talatot of blue wool, but without fringes, prepared for them a banquet. Aaron's sons came for the priestly share, but Korah and his people refused to give the prescribed portions to them, saying that it was not God but Moses who commanded those things. Moses, having been informed of these proceedings, went to the house of Korah to effect a reconciliation, but the latter and his 250 followers rose up against him Num. R. X. V. I. 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 2. Tan. L. C. Comp. Targ. Pseudo Jonathan to Num. X. V. I. 2. Korah consulted his wife also, who encouraged him in the revolt, saying, See what Moses has done. He has proclaimed himself king, he has made his brother high priest, and his brother's sons priests, still more, he has made thee shave all thy hair comp. Num. V. 7 in order to disfigure thee. Korah answered. But he has done the same to his own sons. His wife replied. Moses hated thee so much that he was ready to do evil to his own children provided the same evil would overtake thee Midr. Agata to Num. X. V. I. 8. Yach. Num. 750. Comp. Num, R. L. C. Tan, L. C. San, 110 A. Korah's parable Korah incited all the people against Moses, arguing that it was impossible to endure the laws instituted by the latter. He told them the following parable, "...a widow, the mother of two young daughters, had a field." When she came to plow it, Moses told her not to plow it with an ox and an ass together doi, XXII, 10. When she came to sow it, Moses told her not to sow it with mingled seeds lev. XIX, 19. At the time of harvest she had to leave unreaped the parts of the field prescribed by the law, while from the harvested grain she had to give the priest the share due to him. The woman sold the field and with the proceeds bought two sheep. But the first born of these she was obliged to give to Aaron the priest, and at the time of shearing he required the first of the fleece also doi, X -V -I -I -I. 4. The widow said, I can not bear this man's demands any longer. It will be better for me to slaughter the sheep and eat them, but Aaron came for the shoulder, the two cheeks, and the maw Ib, verse 3. The widow then vehemently cried out, If thou persistest in thy demand, I declare them devoted to the Lord. Aaron replied, In that case the whole belongs to me. Num. X -V -I -I -I. 14. Whereupon he took away the meat, leaving the widow and her two daughters wholly unprovided for. Num. R. X -V -I -I -I. 2 3. Tan. Korah. 4 6. 
The question how it was possible for a wise man like Korah to be so imprudent as to rebel is explained by the fact that he was deceived through his own prophetical capacity. He had foreseen that the prophet Samuel would be his descendant, and therefore concluded that he himself would escape punishment. But he was mistaken, for, while his sons escaped, he perished Num. R. X. V. I. 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 7, Tan, Korah, 12. Topic. Destruction of Korah At the time of Korah's engulfment, the earth became like a funnel, and everything that belonged to him, even linen that was at the launderers and needles that had been borrowed by persons living at a distance from Korah, rolled till it fell into the chasm er. San, X, 1, Num. R, L, C. According to the rabbis, Korah himself underwent the double punishment of being burned and buried alive Num. R. L. C. 14, Tan, Korah, 23. He and his followers continued to sink till Hannah prayed for them Gen. R. X. C. V. I. 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 3, and through her prayer, the rabbis declare, Korah will ascend to paradise A flat. R. N. X. 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 V. I. Num. R. X. V. I. 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 11, Comp. San, 109 b. Rabbi Bar Bar Hannah narrates that while he was traveling in the desert, an Arab showed him the place of Korah's engulfment. There was at the spot a slit in the ground into which he introduced some wool soaked in water. The wool became parched. On placing his ear to the slit, he heard voices cry, "'Moses and his Torah are true, and we are liars'." b. b. 74a. Comp. Tan, ed. Buber, Korah, Supplement, S. S. M. Cell. Significance <inaudible> 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 The biblical name Korah is important for the following reasons In the case of Korah son of Esau, both Esau and Korah waged war against Israel, and Esau was hated by God because of it according to Malachi 1 verse 3. In these struggles, Korah became renowned as a warrior and a fighter, and was legendary in Canaan because of abilities. In the case of Korah son of Izar, he is remembered for the rebellious action together with Dathan and Abiram against Moses according to Numbers 16 verse 21. This story also appears in the Quran, where Korah is named Karan see biblical and Quranic narratives. The story of this, "...fallen Levite", or "...corrupted priest", is one of the many stories in the scriptures that, in sharp contrast to most ancient literature, allows criticism of an honorable office, similarly to the criticism of King David's infidelity. Other references Korah is referenced in the New Testament in Jude chapter 11, "'Woe to them! They have taken the way of Cain, they have rushed for profit into Balaam's error, they have been destroyed in Korah's rebellion." Niv Korah is mentioned in the 1768 edition of the New England Primer. Here, as part of an alphabet, we read that, "...proud Korah's troop was swallowed up," which is a paraphrasing of Numbers 16 verse 32. Korah is also mentioned by Irenaeus in his anti-Gnostic work Adversus Heresies against Heresies, written in about 180. He criticized the excuse that some evil people in the Bible were credited with obtaining their power from God. Specifically he wrote there are some who declare that Cain derived his being from the power above, and acknowledge that Esau, Korah, the Sodomites, and all such persons, are related to themselves. The Dead Sea Scrolls also provide additional details about Korah, though which Korah is not certain. Quranic reference Korah is also mentioned in the Quran by the name of Karan Arabic, Karn Karan. He is recognized as wealthy, and became very arrogant due to his pride and ignorance. He gave the credit of his wealth to his knowledge instead of to Allah God. Indeed, Karan was from the people of Moses, but he tyrannized them, and we gave him of the treasures, that of which the keys would have been a burden to a body of strong men. He said, "'I was only given it because of knowledge I have.' Did he not know that Allah had destroyed before him of generations those who were greater than him in power and greater in accumulation of wealth? But the criminals, about their sins, will not be asked. The Quran states he was punished due to his extreme arrogance by being swallowed by earth along with all his great material wealth. In the Malay and Indonesian language, the term for treasure is, Harta Karun, meaning Karun's treasure. It is also often referred to in Turkish as, 
Karanun Hazinlari Topic See also Korach Parsha the weekly Torah portion in the annual Jewish cycle of Torah reading that tells Korah's story Korahites Topic References <references>